Welcome to the chemicals again. So uh, in the previous uh, video we discussed about the heat reaction. So we will go to the next uh, discussion or the reaction that is Suzuki reaction. It is uh, again one of the important reaction and uh, it is a novel work. Uh, Suzuki reaction. The scientist Suzuki got the novel for this reaction. So what is this basically reaction? What is the what happens in this reaction? This organometallic reaction uh, is a cross-coupling reaction. Here, in presence of palladium, an alkyl halide, suppose R1, X, which under in uh, presence of palladium, first goes oxidative addition, R1, Pd, X. So this is the first step. Then what happens? Suzuki reaction is a boron-mediated reaction. And the boron compound transfer the second alkyl group second alkyl group so boron x2 plus ar suppose i am writing so this is the source of the other organic part and this couples r1 and ar this couples this so i am writing in general way what is this reaction typically looks like we have an alkene Say R1, there is a H and H, here B, X2, that is the boron compound, and the other compound, say this is R2, this is H, H, and this is Y. These two reacted, of course, in presence of palladium catalyst. Suppose PDPPH3 hold 4, and of course, base. Then what happens? As I said, this is a cross coupling reaction. So, and we have shown that the boron served as the second, uh, this group transfer. So, what will be the product? I will show the mechanism. But little bit later. Uh, I would like to say that uh, I am writing this now just only the product. We will discuss what happens. So, see, this and this gets coupled to give this. Okay. Then how does it happen? Let's check out. So what was there? B X two. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, this X can be X can be O H O R and also R. That is boronic acid, boronic ester, and simple boron. And then our next species that is R two. And Y. What is Y? Y could be bromide or else iodide or triflate, maybe chloride. Okay. It is same uh, with the other metal or reaction. First oxidative addition. So what is generates R double bond Y palladium Y. Till now it is okay as simple looks it. Then the important step. This was the oxidative addition. Oxidative addition and this is the important step R I am writing this boron species here what is this called? this is called transmetallation transmetallation okay. please keep look carefully what happens? this alkenyl species get transferred to the metal palladium transmetallation we are doing metallation Thus, what happens? Palladium R. Here you may find uh, one important thing that it was a uh, first oxidative addition, of course, palladium 0 species oxidative addition, and it's a palladium 2. And the second step, it is the palladium 2 species that reacts with this boron species and this gives. And you may ask a question and see there is a the double bond is trans. Here also the double bond is trans. It is very crucial. That is the retention of configuration is observed. So keep it in mind. You will see later in the uh, example. It is very crucial. R retention of the double bond of both species. The alkyl halide species, alkenyl halide species as well as the boron species. This is the important step. Then the one more important step that is reductive elimination. As its name implies, reductive elimination. Of course, something will be eliminated, 
as well as it will be reduction. So what goes reduction? It generates palladium zero species that is reduction and elimination. These guys are double bond and then this and see the product in the product both the uh, let me say you know, and this was R2 and this was R1 so this is R2 and R1 R1 R2 R2 R1 so both the retention in the alkenyl species uh, as well as in the boron species so this is the product now uh, I discuss the mechanism let us look some example it will be beneficial for all of you first i will uh, show an example which is very interesting and intramolecular reaction what is this there is a double bond here is an oxygen which is protected pb dms okay and then there is a double bond and here OSO2 CH3 we have say 9 BBN and then second step uh, correspond to palladium PPS3 44 and some other bases I'm not writing those so you look the in the first case there is a no boron species here the actually in this uh, example first we are adding 9 BBN that's why it gives we generate a boron species uh, though this is uh, not uh, in our reaction I will discuss it little bit here leave it it is uh, as it is here it present O SO2 CS3 here you may ask a question it is a boronating agent so there is a uh, double bond in this here as well as here but uh, where it will react this is a tetra substituted, so it will not react here. The 9 bbn will react here. So 9 bbn is nothing, just a boron uh, that is contain hydrogen, and the other part I am not showing. It's like it's written like this. Just uh, for the sake of convenience, just look at this right now. So boron adds to the less in that side, so it goes here and then yes. Thus it generates the boronic. Boron, uh, boron species. What is that? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. So there is the boron species. Till now it's okay, and the other things are as it is there. CF three. So there is a one, two, three carbon. One, two, three carbon, and this boron gets here. Now we have palladium. So it gets oxidative addition here. Palladium, and the other things say X. Now the next step is transmetallation. So this species will metallate it here. So what we will have? Uh, see one, two, three, four, five. There is five carbon. So I am writing this like as it is as I am writing uh, the species again just for a convenience. Palladium. So transmetallation will give the five member ring product and the left hand species what is there this is o t b d m s so this is our product see so first what happens it's just a boron we are in the boron then it's a transmetallation step i am showing i didn't show here but the reductive elimination gives the corresponding product so this was an intramolecular suzuki coupling reaction let us discuss some another reaction. It's uh, quite interesting. See, pH Br plus we have boron species. C4H9. I am telling you a little bit trick. How to got the product? Just uh, one step. See, uh, this is C and this is trans. What I said in previously that uh, it is 
and the retention of configuration that is observed. You can do just a little bit trick, write it just as it is there. See, I don't do anything, of course there is a gradient species. And what will happen? This bond and this bond, just add it. It is trans, leave it trans. It is cis, leave it cis. Cis, I am getting cis. One, two carbon are there and it is trans. C4H9. Just one step, you can do it properly. It's nothing. This, it is cis, it is trans. Leave it there. Don't do anything. You can, you will get the correct product. So, it, uh, just keep it in mind that it is retention of the configuration in both the alkene species as well as in the boronic species. This is the product. Okay, I will discuss another reaction that was uh, appeared in the late 2017 December exam. It's very much interesting. Here we have N butyl and alkene species. There was nine, uh, say, nine butyl. No, 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 no. Okay, I am not writing uh, what was there, just uh, boronating agent BH. Suppose writing it is 9 BBM. So, and there was A, and they give. Okay, let me see the question what is there. So, they have given uh, bromine and this species. And of course, palladium, PPH3, hold 4. What is B? This question was asked in the Net 2017. Uh, I am uh, little bit uh, change this. Uh, this was actually categorical boron, so it doesn't matter for the for understanding purposes. So it's just uh, boronating agent. It is also boronating agent. So uh, don't uh, make it uh, misunderstand that it is same boronating agent. Then what will be our A and what will be the B? Let's uh, quickly go do the thing. Uh, what I have to say that uh, this boronating agent will add stereospecifically seen. What I said, stereospecifically seen. So, and CH and BUN. And where, where the reduced selectivity plays in that position, of course, boron. And it will be hydrogen because it is more hindered. And this is the species category. So, this will go here. So it is seen. That's why what will happen? It goes there and there. Hydrogen and boron and the other thing what are there. So it doesn't matter. Butyl N. So keep it in mind that it is stereospecific seen reaction. That's why boron and hydrogen it is in this position. Just you can uh, in this simple step you can eliminate two other option there are four options in the question paper if you look it in this question you can eliminate easily the other two option now the second step is nothing as i told you before that's it is what is it is trans and what is it is cis just add it how to add it keep it in butyl single bond it is leave it there what is this is cis just this carbon i am writing this carbon and this is coupling and then this is cis so this will be our product. So you can easily eliminate the option. You just see this is trans and this is cis. You will see the option and do it. It will be right answer. Okay, this was a good example. And then okay, uh, last uh, one question. Uh, it is not only we are generating and coupling an alkene and alkene. We can say, suppose we have this and and boron, say OR hold 2. So, we can also generate a ketonic species. Of course, there will be palladium species catalyst. And what will happen? This bond and this bond. See, it is I am written trans. So, it will be trans. And this bond gets coupled. So what will be this? C O R. So it will generate a ketone. So this is a very much a good application as well as in alkene, alkene coupling, influence synthesis of ketone and other cases. So that's it.